Let's sit and meditate for a few minutes before the blessing. I know about what I'm talking The Buddha teaches the way to happiness. There are skills that we develop. Generosity, virtue, meditation. These are all skillful things. Generosity is giving from your heart, voluntary giving, but giving with an attitude of respect, giving with an attitude that giving is important and it doesn't really accomplish something. There were people back in the time of the Buddha that said giving doesn't accomplish anything, because either because people do things through the force of stars, through the force of fate, and they have no choice in the matter, or because people just evaporate at death, so there's no virtue in giving. That's what some people taught. But the Buddha said, no, giving is important. Because we do have the choice to give or not to give, and when we give, it expands our heart. We live in a broader heart because we can think of the well-being of others as well, not just our own well-being. It's like living in a large house rather than a small house. You have lots of space. And then there's virtue, in which you think of the well-being of others. If your happiness depends on other people's suffering or other people's harm, then they're not going to stand for it. So you have to think of their well-being, too. And then finally, meditation, to train our minds. Because it's with both with the generosity and the virtue, you realize the important thing is the intention. So you look directly at your intentions. What kind of intentions do you act on? Which ones do you not? And the Buddha said he got on the path to the practice of the Dharma, the true practice of the Dharma, when he divided his thoughts into two types skillful ones and unskillful ones. The skillful ones were to be developed, the unskillful ones were to be abandoned. Now, due to that, you'd need good, strong concentration. This is why we meditate. Meditation, too, is a skill. It involves learning how to bring the mind back and keeping it here in a skillful way. If you force it too much, it's not going to be willing to stay. If you're too loose and too lazy or too, too gentle with it, it's going to go wandering around as it likes. You have to have just the right touch. This is why it takes practice. So all these things are skills that we can work on. When you leave the monastery, this temporary monastery we have right now, you can't take the, the woods with you and you can't take the atmosphere, but you can take these skills, the skills we've been working on. And you find that they really do provide a good foundation for happiness. It's all around.